Well, hello, I'm going to talk to you about how to manage complexity for urban food system transformation through the City Labs and specifically through the City Lab in Barcelona. As you all know, in Fit for Food, we are trying to change the way we solve our problems. We are trying to implement strategies like Food 2030 and other strategies that describe us future visions. And we know that in order to achieve these future visions for our system, we need to apply changes not only in the food system, but also in the research and innovation system. And to do that, we believe in this project that it is essential to create intermediary structures between the two systems, the research and innovation system and the food system. And this is what we call the city labs. Actually, nowadays, we are already changing the paradigm in the research and innovation system. We are trying to make it more open and more inclusive with many different movements coming up from the European Commission and from other organizations where we are trying to better include different stakeholders in the process. So, for example, citizen science or open innovation processes like design thinking and so many other methodologies and structures like science shops and living labs that have been created to open up this process. By opening up this process, we expect that our solutions will scale, better scale up and impact the food system and therefore produce change. However, under this new paradigm, we are still facing a wall. We are still facing that our solutions don't impact the food system as highly as we would expect. And the reason for that is that actually there is a wall which is built with different elements of the system that we are not taking into account during the design of the research and the implementation of the research and during the design and implementation of the innovation. And therefore, what we are exploring in the Barcelona City Lab is how to better take all these elements into account when designing uh, solutions and, of, of, of course, interventions for system change. What we have realized is that actually most of the times or in many times we are tackling problems without seeing all the components of the problems. So some elements of the system are still hiding under the water, like in this picture. And this is because we tend sometimes to think as problems as if they were complicated, so having rules and having recipes to be solved, instead of talking, thinking about pro problems as if they have a lot of unknowns and a lot of interrelated factors that are that may be hindering us from finding appropriate solutions for them. So, what are these elements of the system that are there? What are all these unknowns? What are all these interrelations of the factors that we have in the system that may be making it difficult for us to implement solutions? Well, these elements are very varied and I have put for you here a list of some possible elements that we need to consider. These elements they may be found in the phases of the value chain, in the different areas of the systems, in the different levels, in the different sectors, in different academic disciplines, in different research and innovation lines, in different typologies of solutions, and with the perspectives of different stakeholders. And among dif these different categories, we will have to explore trends, showcases, and research and innovation breakthroughs that are, that are already promoting change in the areas where we believe a change is more urgently needed. But of course here there is a lot of complexity and we may be questioning how can we manage this complexity? How can we juggle with all these elements in the system? That's what actually we are doing research on from the City Lab in Barcelona. During this project, we have divided the time in three blocks. During the first block, we have been developing knowledge and piloting methodologies to juggle with all these elements in the system, and we have summarized them in the educational model that we have facilitated through the project. The next step will be to implement it through a community of practice in the city of Barcelona. During the first phase of knowledge development, we mainly devoted our time to explore together with the community of practice three typologies of knowledge. So, all the stakeholders in the Barcelona city that were trying to attain a challenge and to think about solutions were invited, well, not all of them, but a lot of them were invited to workshops where we all together explored system knowledge. 
So we explore together why is it so difficult to solve the problems we are trying to solve, and we explore together the complexity of the problems we were trying to solve. After that, we explore together target knowledge. So we build together shared visions to describe the future we want to achieve in our city and connected to other levels like, like national, international, and global level. And finally, we build up transformation knowledge. So we brought into the workshops again different elements of the system, like for example, elements that are in place in the areas where change is already happening in the direction that we want to achieve. And we put them on the table for the different stakeholders to better explore how transitions are going on and how our transition action plan should be developed. Our next step now is to consolidate this community of practice and to move towards implementation. And to do that, we have signed an agreement with policymakers, with the Barcelona City Council and with La Caixa Foundation. But we know that in this community of practice, it's not like in the previous slides that we saw a linear path from challenge to solutions, but we know that as Matsu Gato suggests in her documents about mission-oriented research, that we need to pay special attention to the coordination among different projects. And we believe that this coordination that Matsu Gato suggests has to happen while at the same time exploring the three sorts of knowledge that I mentioned before, and we need to do that at different levels, as it's written here in the right of this slide. So for that reason, we are now approaching these communities of practice, trying to consolidate them thanks to this agreement that I mentioned with the Barcelona City Council and La Caixa Foundation and another research center in Barcelona. And with all this, we expect to have better sustainability of the City Lab, future sustainability and impact, but not only for the City Lab, but equally important for all the participants who have participated in the City Lab and who will be participating in the communities of practice. And with them, together with them, we want to have impact in the city strategy. Also, we want to explore which changes need to happen in the strategies of the organizations participating. And also, we want to build together a collective strategy for change in our city. That's what we are planning to do to better impact the future proofing of the European food systems through research and innovation. Thank you very much.